This is Godzilla! And this is a skibbity toilet! Who's gonna win? Oh! Yep, that's to be expected. Now, what if Godzilla fought the skibbity scientist? Who is gonna win? But first, we need to find which skibbity toilet can beat Godzilla first. Starting with the big skibbity toilet. Because we've already seen the first skibbity toilet versus the other one. Whoa! Godzilla just used his fire breath. Godzilla has 20,000 HP. This is going to be tough. Okay, what about a laser cannon toilet? This one might be able to stay outside of Godzilla's fire breath range and be able to take it. Oh, hey, it did one shot on him. That brought him down to 19,933 HP. Bruh. What about the pistol toilet? Surely the pistol toilet can take him down. Look at that. He's got a giant laser gun on his head. Oh, no. Watch out. Okay, we're getting stronger now because we have a flying police toilet who actually has some HP. This police toilet was barely able to stand up to Godzilla. This is going to be so tough for the skibbity toilets. Let's bring out the laser toilet. The laser. This is the G-Man Mark I. Let's see what happens when G-Man goes up against Godzilla. <laughs> what about the camo toilet, followed by the flying robber toilet, followed by the sword toilet? Uh, okay, they all kind of just got obliterated. Let's bring in the UFO toilet versus Godzilla. Oh, he got one shot off. Oh, he actually has some HP. Okay, and then the rocket toilet. Okay, that was all of the basic common skibbity toilet units. Now we are moving up to the big boys. These are the special elite skibbity toilet units that we're going to see take on Godzilla himself. These are all boss units of the skibbity toilet, which may be able to stand a chance against Godzilla. Starting with the giant G-Man toilet, Mark 1! The G-Man is coming in to defend the skibbity toilets against Godzilla, and he's actually able to have some HP against Godzilla. Bro, he's actually doing quite well. But I mean, his damage is nowhere near enough to take out Godzilla's armor, and he just got absolutely obliterated by Godzilla. But that was only the Mark 1, guys. The G-Man toilet will be back. Now we're sending in the robber toilet boss. The flying robber toilet boss. This guy has insane amount of HP, but... Oh, okay, whoa, oh, wow, oh, no. Oh, my goodness, dude, that was even worse than the G-Man. Let's send in the laser toilet boss. Surely, surely all of these guys can take down Godzilla by the time that we're done here. Before he even needs to reset his HP. This is the entire Skibbity Toilet army trying to take down Godzilla. Okay, this is just the normal big toilet boss. I really don't think this guy is going to do too well. Let's see what happens. It's not looking good for him. Yeah. You can skibbity dob dob no yes yes all you want, but that's just going to take you straight to heaven. What about the Saw Boss? Oh, the Saw Boss might be able to do some damage, but dude, Godzilla's fire breath is insane. That is ridiculous. And then he has a tail whip, which we haven't even seen yet. What about the laser toilet boss? Hit him with the laser, boy. Oh, wow. That laser really ain't doing that much damage. Wow. Dude, the tier one elite units have not managed to even really make much of a dent. There's a tiny bit there, but it's not a lot. We got to bring in the stronger toilets. We're bringing in the armed toilet boss, the fighter toilet boss. We're bringing in the magnetic toilet boss. We're going to bring in the G-Man toilet mark II, the police toilet boss, the parasite toilet boss, and we'll bring in, who is the strongest, the spider toilet. Okay, we're going to bring in the doctor toilet man. These are the very, very strong skibbity toilet boss units. These get better and better. Just watch this. Here we have the Rocket Toilet versus Godzilla. This one is boss mode, so he does even more damage. And he has more lasers and more HP. He may be able to give Godzilla a run for his money. Because if you remember, in previous episodes, this boss did an insane amount of damage. And was able to take out a lot of the Skibbity Toilet bosses himself. 
He managed to solo do a lot of damage to Godzilla, but it wasn't anywhere near enough. Let's bring in the fighter toilet boss. This guy also does a lot of damage with his rockets. And he has flight, but the flight doesn't really mean anything against Godzilla. Look at that fire breath damage. That fire breath damage is ridiculous. But he's still not even on half HP yet, and he managed to take them down. Okay, what about the G-Man toilet Mark II? The second version of the G-Man toilet. Even more lasers, even stronger. Let's see, he has a lot of HP. Oh no, the, the fire breath. Dude, that AoE fire breath is absolutely ridiculous, but... G-Man Toilet Mark II managed to get him down past half HP, which is really good. Okay, now we have the Police Toilet unit. And remember, the, the standard Police Toilet alone had so much HP, it could take on Godzilla for a while. This one's the boss. This one's going to have way more HP, and it's going to be absolutely insane. Look at this. Dude, his HP is actually nuts. And he's going to be able to do a lot of damage to Godzilla before Godzilla takes him down, but... Godzilla is still doing heaps of damage to him. It looks like Godzilla is going to be the one that comes out on top here. Unless, bruh, hold on, the police toilet boss is taking him down to 5,000. See, I told you, that police toilet boss is OP. My man's going insano style. Go, police toilet boss. Bruh, he might single-handedly be able to save them. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Bro, so it basically took up until the Skibbity Toilet Boss to take him down. But now we get to the ultimate toilet units. These are the strongest. Starting with the UFO Toilet Boss, the Armed G-Man Mark II. And for the record, the one we just used was the G-Man Toilet II. This is the Armed G-Man Toilet Mark II. And then we're going to bring in the Chainsaw Toilet Boss. And the Infected Titan Speaker Man Mark II. Starting with the UFO Toilet Boss! So it takes all of the... I bet you this guy's going to be able to win. Maybe. Maybe. Wait, maybe not. Alright, so it takes all the Skibbity Toilets up to the UFO Toilet Boss. No, no, wait. No, he's not going to win. He's going to lose. He's going to lose. Bruh! Send in the Chainsaw Toilet Boss! Bruh! Oh my goodness, dude. And this is all Godzilla on one single life. He's... Oh my goodness, dude. The Chainsaw Toilet boss isn't even going to reach him in time. Oh my goodness. Bruh. He didn't even get there. But let's see. If, what if he started up close? Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. The tail whack slaps him backwards. That's exactly what Godzilla needs. Oh, wow. Dude. That is insane! Okay, now for the G-Man Toilet Armed Mark II! Remember, the G-Man Toilet Mark II already did a lot of damage to him. But this one's the armed one. And finally, they take down their first Godzilla! Let's go! But guys, this is a battle of one-on-one. -on -one. So we're talking Godzilla at full strength versus these units. So let's bring in Godzilla versus the Arm G-Man Toilet Mark II. And now we're going to be resetting Godzilla's health at the start of every match. Because we're going to make this a fair fight for Godzilla. And right now, it looks like he is absolutely going to obliterate the Arm G-Man Mark II. But the Arm, Arm G-Man Mark II is able to get at least probably 3,000 HP off of him, which is very strong. So good job, Arm G-Man Toilet. You did well. You put in a lot of work, but it wasn't quite enough. Let's bring back another one. And now, guys... These are the boss units. These are the strongest units in all of Skibbity Toilet. Starting with the Magnetic Toilet Boss. And after this boss, the bosses are going to start summoning units to attack Godzilla as well. So this is going to be crazy. Bro, he's got his magnetism on Godzilla. So if Godzilla tries to whack him away like this, he's able to magnetize Godzilla back. Except he decided not to use it. There we go. You're not escaping Godzilla. In fact, he's doing a lot of damage to Godzilla. Remember, this was a Godzilla at full HP before. This magnetic toilet boss is really doing a lot of work. He's probably able to take down half of Godzilla's HP before Godzilla manages to take him out. Oh my goodness, dude. That's actually really good for the magnetic toilet boss. Remember, this is going to be the weakest of the best bosses, guys. But he's still among the best. 
So that was the magnetic toilet boss. Now let's bring in the Dr. Toilet Man. The first of the cool summoning bosses. This guy is can summon units. He's got lasers. He's got a lot of damage. He has very strong powers. When he starts doing that, that means he's summoning toilets. And it looks like he's summoning a bunch of fire toilets here. Oh, here we go. Godzilla needs to use his O. Oh, he one-shot them. Dude, Godzilla just straight up one-shot those guys. Whoa! Okay, Dr. Toilet Man really didn't stand much of a chance here. Oh, wow. Dr. Toilet Man did worse than the other toilet boss. I guess it's because Godzilla has so much AoE ability. It's just too strong. So let's send in... You know what? I don't even want to use the Skibbity Parasite yet. I want to use that other one. Where is it? It should be the Spider Boss. It's another It's another 2D version. Here we go. The fan-made Toilet Spider Boss. This guy deals so much damage to one single target, and that's Godzilla. So this guy is going to deal a huge amount of damage to Godzilla, but the question is, can he survive? Look at the damage that he's just doing to Godzilla. That damage is so much. But I forgot that this guy doesn't summon units. It's just going to be him versus Godzilla. So this guy is probably not going to be able to finish him. He's not going to be able to deal any crushing blows. But he did get down a lot of HP. This guy would work best if he had a tank out the front shielding him from damage. But that's not how this battle works, guys. And the third strongest unit is the infected Titan Speaker Man Mark II. Who I totally forgot to add here. Let's see what he can do against Godzilla. He has a lot of HP. Oh, okay, uh, scrap, uh, scrap third strongest. This is, uh, yeah, that was, um, yeah, poor, poor infected Titan Speakerman. Now we're sending in the Skibbity Parasite! Now, if just one of the Skibbity Parasite's parasites are able to infect Godzilla, we're gonna declare that a win for the Skibbity Parasite. Because by then, the Skibbity Parasite can control Godzilla. He's bringing in the Parasites! Right after Godzilla uses his ability. Oh, no. Dude, the parasites, they can't control him. They can't control him. Oh, but they have a lot of HP. He's summoning UFO toilets. This might be the first toilet that can take down Godzilla. The fire breath. What? Holy moly. He can actually turn with his fire breath? That's something not even the TV man could do. Oh, wait. He might win this. Bro, the parasite toilet boss could win. Oh, okay. He, he pushed him back. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is so close. He's using the fire breath. Oh! Dude! He's gonna win! He's gonna win! He's gonna lose! Oh my goodness, guys! The skibbity parasite boss was so close! Just one more attack, one more summon that would have been able to do it! But he failed, guys. All of them have failed. It's now down to one man. This is Godzilla versus the true strongest Skibbity toilet unit, the Skibbity Scientist. Now this is going to be the ultimate battle. The scientist has time stop. He has summons. He has every ability imaginable. He can summon G-Man toilets. He can time stop Godzilla. This might be the only toilet that can take down Godzilla in the event of a disaster like Godzilla's happening. Oh, now that is good. Bro, this is really good for the skibbity toilet G-Man. I don't know why I said G-Man because he's the doctor. For the Skibbity Toilet Scientist. I mean, G-Man's the commander of the Skibbity Toilet Army. Oh my goodness! It's not even a contest! The G-Man Toilet's absolutely obliterating Godzilla! And the Skibbity Toilets officially win!